Hello everyone, Arxie here. Today we are taking a look at a map that has a very special place in my heart from Farming Simulator 19. This is No Creek Farms and has been converted across to Farming Simulator 22. Now the original convert was completed by Shub and Modding and then uh, Squatch Monkey, Large H Modding and JMF Modding have worked together to refine that a little bit further and bring some additional features to it. Now for those familiar with No Creek Farms, the original version was done by No Creek Farms themselves for Farming Simulator 17 and then MRG mapping did a convert for FS19 and I spent a lot of time on that, I had a lot of fun and a really enjoyable series that we put together on that and I'll share a little link to the playlist there so you can go back and have a look and compare the FS19 version to what we have here in FS22 and uh, I must say as much as I've talked before about maps from FS19 should potentially be left there as a little bit of a treasure trove to go back to. I must say I am pretty excited to see this map into FS22. So we'll go for a little bit of a look around, we'll go for a little bit of a tour, take a look at the PDA and just check out some of the things that have changed and some of the things which are the same. So one of the main features that really appealed to me for No Creek Farms and is a little bit unique compared to some other maps is that it really is only based around one farm. Right down here in the centre, this is the only established built farmyard on the whole map. Now the key features really are the road which runs from the dealer and cell points up here in the top right corner. We've got a road that runs down, tracks all the way down to the bottom of the map and then we've got one other road which runs horizontally across there. Everything else is interlinked by off-road farm tracks and the like. Now the other main feature here when you look at the main farm is the amount of land you actually own. So these fields, this plot through here is all of the main farmland which comes with the farm. So you get a huge amount of land and I spend a lot of time farming. Pretty much just this area uh, didn't extend out too much further than this and it was enough to keep one person pretty busy which was pretty exciting. So one of the other key things with this map that really appealed to me the first time I played on it was the unique nature of the fields. You've got very few regular shaped fields. 18 up here is a long one but does have a little bit of a cut out there for a waterway, a little bit of a pond. There's a couple over here, 26, 28, which are reasonably square. They're still not perfectly square. But each other field has some unique feature to it, whether it's uh, hidden in around forest. 23 down here is a really unique one in the way it's cut in around some streams and uh, creek beds with a whole lot of forest around it but others that have waterways in and around them uh, this field 8 here is terraced and this is something I like that they've done for this version of the map compared to the FS19 one is that those are actual planted grass terraces rather than the previous map which had this all as one field which was all uh, tillable land it does have these terraces and we'll go and take a look at that in just a little bit but uh, really unique fields really unique farmland and a really nice uh, visual appeal to the map because as you look across it you do get a lot of trees and a lot of different vistas and different outlooks which was really appealing to me. Now taking a look here across the values of the land we've got a plot here 1.2 million dollars 85 acres of course that won't be the farmable land that's just the size of the plot up here 72 acres for just over a million dollars but then we've got some other smaller ones up in the top here corner here 9 acres 13 acres around that 150 180,000 dollar mark so a lot of different variety of fields a lot of different shapes and different sizes that appeal to everyone in fact if we have a look here field 10 not quite the smallest nine haven't gone through to figure out exactly which one is the smallest but you get the idea then you've got plots like this one down here with field two or farmland two which actually has if we turn back here three fields in it fields one two and three so again pretty unique uh, to this map compared to some others now just very quickly looking at some of the other features and we'll go through a couple of things that have been added but while we're on the map here and looking at the crop types we do see we've got alfalfa and silage corn added into that. Now one of the recommended mods is to use maize plus and that is to be able to feed wet cake and cracked corn to your animals uh, which is something that's been included in the map. So taking a look at some of the other things that have been added or changed from the FS19 version, obviously the deco foliage and things like that have been brought through to FS22 standards and using the FS22 textures and things like that. Uh, we've got the cow pen and a new pasture, added moving cows down at the dealer, we do have multi-terrain angle, obviously the silage corn and alfalfa which we touched on before, there is a buy point for wet cake and lime. Bit of a custom environment, corn stalks and the ability to use bedding with corn stalks which is nice and I think if we have a look in the commodities and sell menu there is an option there for corn stalk bales. Uh, more grass fields than there was previously and uh, when I mean grass fields they're actually defined as fields so you could go and till them, plough them up and plant them with, them with something else and use the uh, 
grass crop rather than decorative grass that could be mowed. The colour of the water in the ponds and creeks being changed. There's a lower poly of the bin at the co-op and the ability to paint medium and short grass in the game. They've also recommended a couple of mods, the Realism Animals Grazing mod found in the in-game mod hub does only affect the aesthetics of the pastures. Uh, store deliveries mod, obviously it's a helpful one because the store is a wee way away, but it's not too bad. Uh, and Maze Plus and Maze Plus Animal Food Additions to be able to feed the wet cake and cracked corn. So, we're going to take a look around here at the main farmyard. Uh, all the features, if you've played this map in FS19 and probably in FS17, all very similar. In fact, they're all pretty much identical. One of the main things you will notice is the different gravel texture used here on the roads. It was more of a tan-coloured type uh, rock than what it is here, but this is just the nature of the beast. It is what is available in the game. So if we walk out the front here from the main farmyard, still got the uh, American flag flying gracefully there in the wind. The yard is pretty much identical and the sheds are pretty much identical. So we'll move over and start over here in the main shop. We're going to open up the doors and have a look around in here. Coming to the side, now the triggers are the same. You can't open those doors from the outside. You do have to struggle your way through the farm sim doors and uh, get in here. We've got a trigger here for the sectional door and also for the tilted door. You know, get both of those opened up. Obviously got a workshop trigger here does say the dealer but uh, it is a workshop dealer because it does say you can customize or repair your vehicles even though it says dealer it is the workshop a little bit of a storage area up the top there and uh, some nice decoration in here for the dealer uh, for the workshop nice signs and things like that up on the walls so uh, when I first walked in here it was a bit of a bit of a nostalgia trip for me having spent like I said so much time here on this map in FS19 head around here and look at some of the other sheds you know, diesel tank there with the fill point you've top up all your tractors and equipment uh, another good shed here got the two doors in this one so you can come around the side also the uh, person access door there but these can be opened from inside and out so nice a good accessible storage another one of the similar style sheds or similar size sheds but this one does have a drive-through function so you can open the doors at both ends lots of storage space in here and again another drive-through barn just here open this one up and we'll go for a walk through you can see again lots of storage space lots of good accessible storage uh, i certainly found in the previous version no shortage of storage and uh, made good use of it we've got the three bins here now these are a required mod these are from squatch monkey and you do have to have these uh, installed as a mod to be able to use them but nice looking bins they're a little bit smaller than the ones that were in here previously they don't feel quite as daunting and as big in the terrain and there's a little bit more space around them too uh the base in that does feel a little bit more open so a bit of space though i suppose if you wanted to extend your storage have a bit more space and a bit more uh grain bins on the farm you could do that now we're just going to take a look at the animal pasture or the animal pen in just a second but we do have a third third fourth fifth shed uh, this is one I used actually as a barn for storing bales and things like that. But again, it's got lots and lots of doors. All very unique. This one's actually got this extra door here on the side, which does open up, as well as the person door to head out that way. And then around the end here, you've got a pit or a silage bunker as well, with a decent amount of storage space in there. I do like how it's actually sloped down and sort of concealed a little bit below the level of the ground, although as you do look, the ground does slope away there and heads off in that direction. So lots and lots of uh, lots of space and nice and accessible, but it's a it's a very nice yard. I actually really enjoyed being on this. Now heading in here, obviously got our animal barn. Uh, if things are working the same, now uh, disclaimer: I haven't actually tested anything around triggers or anything like that. Uh, but we used to be able to drive through here for bedding and for feed. So you had the uh, feed on the side there, and any bedding you can sp um, mulch straw, cut straw, and uh, spray it into either side using a blower, straw blower, that's the word I was looking for. And there's milking parlours and things like that down each end. And then out the end here, these uh, two vats or silos were the milk trigger for where you loaded your milk up. So I'm going to make the broad assumption that they're all exactly the same. Uh, please let me know if you've played the map or enjoyed it and had a go on it yet, if something has changed there. Now one of the beautiful things I loved about this map was how big the animal pasture actually was. So you did get, when you have animals, and we'll just jump across the fence, you did get animals all through here. There was a manure spawn point right here in the middle. Not sure if that is still the same or not. Obviously the manure is a little bit different in FS22 than it was in FS19. But the animals and the cows did walk all the way down here and go into a big area. And what we'll do is instead of driving around and having a look, we'll go do a little bit of a uh, flyover for the map and just give you a bit of an overview 
of things because I think that will give a better experience in driving around. A loading race here, so uh, trigger and things like that. I'm not sure if there is a trigger. There is. It's just not hidden. There's no symbol for it. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've got those turned on. In fact, we do because we saw the one in the workshop. But there's URR buy points for all your different animals. And a uh, slurry fill point there as well. So uh, still pretty much all exactly the same. And what I was saying though, if we're just going to very quickly head down this way before we uh, go and take a look at the dealer. Uh, this pasture here through the gate and see if we can just jump up here and stand on it there you go so animals were roaming through here the nav mesh for the animals was all through this section it was always really nice as you headed down the track and towards the back of the farm to see your cows wandering in and out of the uh, parlor and uh, the barn heading back down here and grazing and things like that which was uh, very cool now just here on the left this is actually one of the new pastures uh like i said it looks like it's been set to be a field and you can actually plough things up. Now I'm just going to turn this on and you can see there the field area and things like that. It can take fertiliser, it can take lime and obviously if it was just a grassland it wouldn't do that uh, but as it is actually a field it has all that ability. If I'm not mistaken I don't think you could get into this on FS22 I don't, uh, in the FS19 version. I'm pretty sure there was a fence across there and that part of the field wasn't accessible. Likewise for the big field on the front of the uh, front of the yard and just on the other side of all the sheds there was a big area of grass in there that I couldn't access in FS19 without going into Giants Editor and taking out some fence or something like that so uh, nice to see that's there and uh, when we have a look I will show you there is a gate into that pasture up the front. So from the farmyard we've come down here to take a look at the dealership and at the main sell points like I said at the start there is only the one dealer the one sell point and uh, this is where everything is. So head over here, you can quite clearly see the trigger here for your shop. So we'll just pop in here. You can see everything there. If we just jump in and grab a largest tractor, we will lease that one there. That's what it turns out. I've leased that tractor. I've actually leased one twice. Uh, previously, the spawn point for equipment was just out here in front. But uh, actually, if we just have a look at the map, you can see both those tractors have actually spawned at the back of the yard. So I don't know if that's a, a little uh, leftover from testing or what that is. I do have store deliveries in, but I have reset that. You can see I've reset that there. I haven't set the store delivery point. I have now. So you can set store deliveries. Obviously, use that if you want to have it deal, uh, delivered down here to the dealer. But it does look like the uh, shop trigger at the moment while you come down here to buy it, your equipment gets delivered to your farmyard. So that might be something people like. Uh, obviously, being a PC only map, store deliveries takes care of that anyhow. So we head around the back here, we've got two different cell triggers here. We've got the uh, main silo here on the left and then the milk trigger, the milk, milk cell point over there on the right. So you can drive through there and obviously uh, not going to be able to use any tipping trailers. This is purely a uh, hopper bottom type trailer for dumping through there into the uh, unload pit. Now I'm not sure, is it, there is a... Uh, fill point there over top and I wonder if this is where you can come to buy your uh, wet cake and things like that for your animal feed. I'm not quite sure on that, I haven't tested things out quite properly. Having a look here we've got our fertilizer storage so you can buy fertilizer and you can also buy herbicide out of the two tanks. A uh, big silo here for lime so you can come in here and uh, stock up on lime. If we head over here is the animal dealer you can see again there we've got the trigger and we're just going to take a look because uh, as I said at the start we do get the animals in here wandering around uh, which is a nice little addition not sure how many people actually wander around and take a look uh, when they're selecting their animals but that is there as well so it's nice to see and then if we just head on over this side uh, we've got the buy sell auction in fact just poke our nose in there in a little auction room which is pretty cool it's a nice little feature uh, the bale sell point here the other way is the bales and the straw on the ground. And then we do have a supply point over here. I'll just have a look at the sign. It doesn't tell us anything in particular. Uh, but this is a buy point here. I have had a look. There is a trigger. And we've got the fertilizer for the dry fertilizer over the other side. So I'd imagine that is going to be our seed buy point. We might grab a truck in just a bit and go and test some of these things out and see what we can pick up from each one. Let's carry on our way around here. It's obviously a big drive around. Uh, we've got the shed down here at the dealer. Can't open that door from this side. Oh, there's a trigger there. Here we go. We can open it from outside. A little bit of decoration and things like that in here. Just uh, like it is a shop and you can come in and buy some of those things. So like I said, a very simple setup here for the main store and the main sell points. And this is it for the map. There is nothing else anywhere 
you could always put a placeable down on the other end if you wanted a little bit of variety but uh, you will find every time you want to come and sell something or buy something you'll be heading down to this part of the map so uh, pretty simple to set up some auto drive on that's for sure and uh, I found that a godsend last time so we did go and grab ourselves a truck now uh, this looks like it's cracked corn going into the back of the truck there so that is your buy point there for that I'm going to test out some of the others as well and this bin here is seeds and in fact I did miss the sign but it does say seeds on the side there so uh, in fact they are all pretty well labelled fertiliser over there it does say that at the top so I think we've figured everything out uh, we'll just double check there is a trigger or there is a uh, drive through around here I'm not sure if there's a trigger or anything on it there wasn't previously but there could be now and uh, that does remind me actually one other feature that has been added onto the map is anhydrous is included in it as well so you can use that for, uh, for your fertilising and get some anhydrous supplied so as I said we'd take a little bit of an aerial overlook at the map so we're up here at the shop we're just going to follow the road along here and just take a little bit of a look at the fields around about uh, like I said lots of interesting shaped fields lots of trees around and uh, they've all got good field access you can see the field access going in there off the corner into those fields head on down this way again all good field accesses you can see all the different waterways uh, drainage swales or whatever you want to call them ponds and all that sort of thing scattered around so a really unique map i just had a i loved it i can't say enough about how much i enjoyed playing on this map and to carry along the road here you can start to see the farm appearing in the distance there on the horizon on the right hand side and we will go down the main farm track and have a look at the fields that you do get when you start out here on the map if you uh, choose to play with all of those obviously they're all bundled in together so i don't know why you wouldn't because uh, that is the unique nature of this you get the one farm and the one farm only but again, as we'll just uh, carry on along here, you can just see all these little pockets of fields tucked in there behind the trees. Uh, this group of fields here in front of us, these are the three fields that came as the one farmland. And then you can start to see here on the right the uh, main grass field. In fact, you can see those couple of tractors which spawned out the back. And uh, then we'll head around here over the main yard. Now, I was saying before, this pasture here or farmland or field here at the front there wasn't an access in this way so you can see there's now a very nice easy access into that field and that is all set up as a grass field so you can get in there and uh, make use of that lots of hay lots of silage lots of those kind of things as you need to keep your cows or animals well fed and happy now we'll carry on down here over the main farm as you can see the track turns from a nice gravel path and graveled yard area down into a bit more of a rough and ready farmyard farm track access this field here on the right does have all the different tiles and drainage outlets on it that go with the uh, terraced planted areas which is nice again it gives it a different feel it's quite a unique field in the uh, overall setting of the farm on the left here that was the animal pasture where the uh, cows can roam and that is going for quite some distance then we've got a track that heads down there to the left uh, again those fields in this area here these were just a painted grass last time a day called grass that you could mow uh, in this instance they have converted them into fields so the grass one there on the right and just a uh, arable field on the right sorry grass on the left arable field there on the right we'll just carry our way down here so these are all still fields that you own as part of the starter farm at one two or three just tucked over there in the corner and then getting into one of the larger fields here which does have a bit of uh bit of undulation across the field it's always a quite an interesting one to work in you can see the sort of waterway there which has been ploughed and is part of the field and then the longer field over the other side there which was always a good one to work in as well a couple more here on the left and uh to be honest this was one of my favorite fields it was never an easy one to work in it was always a little bit of awkward because it's so narrow and small and tiny tucks into that little piece up around the corner but it was always a fun one to get in there because as you hop down it's just uh fully enclosed you got trees around every side so it was always a fun little field to get in here and work in we'll just carry on while we're flying we might as well go in to the back here of the map uh, these fields through here there is actually these tracks uh, not that one yeah that one there there's a track that comes through here there's a bridge you can go across or a fjord a ford there you can get across the stream and there's two tracks one heads off to the left and over to those fields and then this one which heads off to the right here and up to these fields tucked right up in the back corner of the map over there and then as you can see the track heads down the one side and also links back up with the track here on the right hand side 
and we can follow this down all the way back down to the road at the bottom of the uh, map that was below the farmyard that all links back up that way so uh, very nice it was a fun map I really enjoyed it and uh, I'm going to go on about it a lot but it really does bring back a lot of great nostalgic memories for me of some of my first adventures in farming simulator So you can see we're just connecting back up here to the uh, gravel road, the more formed part of probably what you'd call county roads. That heads back along the bottom here, past these fields, all the way along the edge of the map. And uh, heads back up to the farm that you can see up there on the horizon, sitting proudly on top of the hill. Just another great collection of fields in here. They all just have such a cool little feel. I keep going on about it, but uh, how neat's that one there, just as we look around it. You see the waterway through the middle. And uh, unless you're going to drive through that, the only little narrow access that links both sides of the field is right up there at the tip of it. Very cool. And as I said, I head back down this way, and you can see these uh, grasslands and pastures in here, which previously weren't that accessible, now are easy to get to as part of the main farmyard there off the, uh, off the street, off the road. Uh, although, obviously, it's not part of the farm. This is not any of the land you own, so... Uh, if you wanted to focus more on grass there's an opportunity there to buy that one very early on and that brings us back here to the yard like i said it's a pretty compact little map for a standard 2x map uh, lots going on on it but not a lot going on, on it. all at the same time very unique in the way that it does only have the one farm and uh, that's what really appealed to me and i know it has appealed to lots of other people so there we go, my nostalgic trip down memory lane here in No Creek Farms for Farming Simulator 22. Now this version was originally converted, like I said, by Shabin Modding and has now been taken up by Large H Modding, JMF and Squatch Monkey to upgrade it even further and bring it through to Farming Simulator 22 with some new features and uh, obviously a really, really good feel to how it has been since Farming Simulator 17 and through again into FS19. So I hope you've found that interesting. I hope you uh, have enjoyed that map tour. Love to see some series done on this. Uh, I don't know if I'll make a trip back to it. I might let uh, my series from FS19 just live on and uh, enjoy it through that memory. But it is great to be back here and see the map again because, uh, like I said, it does bring back a lot of great memories. I'll leave some links in the description on where you can find this and where you can download it from. Uh, obviously it is PC only, uh, it's not going to be available on ModHub. So I'm sorry if you're a console player, but uh, that's just how it is. So I hope you found that enjoyable. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.